Leo Gallagher. That's so. Back with the bonus round in a minute. I want to see this dog. Going to meet our next guest. He describes himself as funny, happy, and healthy. He says that he always takes a woman to a comedy club within the first three dates, and he claims that there's one uh, way a woman can get anything she wants from it. Please welcome Sam Carver. Hi, Sam. How are you? Good, good. Have a seat. So now, what does this woman do to get anything she wants from you? Very simply, she cries. I have a real hard time with women who cry. She cries? It's like, here, take my wallet, take the keys of my car, take my Norseman card, just stop crying. I let them win if we're having a fight. Hey, okay, well, you're right. Give me an example of something that a woman wanted from you and she cried about. Well, generally, if we wanted to go someplace, she really wanted to go bad, and I sort of... Well, like, 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 uh, like, she really wanted to go to a nice restaurant, I wanted to go to a different one. Uh, and she would say, oh, Sam, can't we go as good as... Are you serious? And, and you would uh, just break down, and she would cry. I just feel helpless at that point. Yeah. I feel like I have to just, okay, it's not worth the grief. I'll just do what she says and continue from there. Well, I was going to ask you, what's your reason for taking a woman to a comedy club, but it's probably to cheer her up. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, it's kind of like my acid test with women. Um, I like to see how they laugh, what they laugh at. Mm -hmm. uh, if I take a woman to a comedy club, she doesn't laugh at all, then she's probably not going to laugh at my jokes. Okay. So that's not going to handle it. Um, if I take a woman, she laughs at everything, then she's probably an airhead. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't want that either. <laughs> Let's take a look at the women that Sam had to choose from. Remember, you're going to pick the woman that you think's best for him. Here we go. First was Stacy. Her interests range from ballet to wallpapering her house. She avoids men who are so vain that they won't even uh, let her touch their hair. And here's what men tell her about what they look for in women. They say that they like a woman with independence, but I think they like a, a little softness there that they can take care of. And I, I like that too, but um, I think maybe men really want the upper hand most of the time. <laughs> and I'm a tough cookie. <laughs> Suzanne's looking for a man who has never been married, who's as funny as Dudley Moore, and who loves skateboarding. Now, she dates about twice a week, and here's what she's learned about men. They want somebody who's so good looking and they're so determined to show society they've got the best looking girl on his arm and that especially goes for men that are 50 plus they've got to have a young babe on their arm it's ridiculous <laughs> and finally charla she claims that men love her energetic personality and her dancer's legs she says that she meets a lot of men while riding her bike and we ask her if uh, there was any way that a man can dress that turns her off lazy Slovenly dressed. I like people who take care of themselves, people who are interested in taking care of their body, uh, their mind, and their spirit. You know, it's the health trinity, I call it. <laughs> okay, those are the three women Sam had to choose from. Who do you think would be the best lady for him? We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll meet the woman that Sam selected, hear everything that happened on their date. We'll do that in two and two. Be right back. This is the totally redesigned Cold GT with a new 16-valve fuel-injected turbo power plant. What's it like to drive one? <laughs> Cold GT. Buy one today from your Southern California Chrysler Plymouth dealer. You got a fajita burrito? No. You got fajitas? Yeah. You got burritos? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a fajita burrito. No. The fajita burrito. Only Del Taco Noggles. Grilled chicken or steak, two kinds of cheeses, and fresh guacamole. Give me a fajita taco, but hold the taco. Then give me a burrito, but hold the beans. Is there someplace special you want me to hold them? Can I get this tomorrow? You want it when? <laughs> tomorrow! <laughs> At other stores, getting alterations by tomorrow can be a real problem. But with CNR's new Express Tailoring, tomorrow go. isn't a problem for normal alterations. Oh, yeah, we can have this for you by tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow! Buy your suit, sport coat, or slacks today, and you can have it ready tomorrow. 
Express Tailoring, only at C&R. Hooray for Hollywood on the next win, lose, or draw. Do you know what this is? I thought it was Don't Choke Donald Duck. Everyone's favorite stars are coming out to play. Constellation. Join Chuck Hayes, Alan Alda, Lonnie Anderson, and Burt Reynolds. That's what makes this game so fascinating. They're going to light up the board in style. What's the lamp call? It's fast draw fun that's hard to top. You do hold the all-time record on our show. All on the next win, lose, or draw. Tonight at 7.30, nowhere else but Channel 9. It's Mr. Bear's Holiday Dining Sale. Dining sets, recliners, entertainment centers. Mr. Bear's Furniture Company. A lot of quality, not a lot of money. Okay, we're back. Sam's going to tell us who you selected. I picked Stacy. Now, we haven't seen each other since today. We always wear both sides. Say hello to Stacy Lowe. Hi, Stacy. Hi there, Chuck. How Hi, are you? Sam. Hi, Stacy. Make yourself at home back there, Stacy, okay? Right. Tell me about the date. Well, we met at a, a parking lot. We left her car there. Uh, she was much prettier in person than she was in the video. Really? Very cute, very petite, beautiful, hazel eyes. Excellent. Mm. And what did you think of him when you saw him? Oh, I thought he was great. Um, I liked his smile, and he had a great body, and um, he dressed really sharp, crisp and clean. I really like that about a man. And he had a cute car, and um, I think he's a very good package there. <laughs> great. What did you do next? Well, uh, I drove down to this place where I arranged for a nice brunch. I had some nice tropical flowers at the table and a bottle of champ uh, champagne chilling at the table. Uh, really nice. Nice really? view of the harbor. Mm -hmm. Good. So things are moving along real well. Mm -hmm. Then we drove down to uh, San Diego. I checked into a hotel there so we could change and go into the next part of the... Uh, Two-phase date. Two-phase date. Well, we, uh, I made plans to go on a sunset uh, harbor cruise, San Diego. Mm -hmm. And it was just a beautiful day. And uh, so we walked around the boat and... I really wanted to put my arm around her and kiss her, but I was a little chicken at that point. Um, you just didn't feel comfortable? Not yet. quite yet. I was kind of Did you it. ever consider any kind of romance? Uh, yeah. I wanted to make a move, but I didn't want him to be intimidated or to get nervous or anything. And uh -huh. I knew he'd get around to it sooner or later. Uh, <laughs> all right. So you're on the cruise. Yeah, and it was really nice. Uh, uh, we walked around the boat, and they started uh, they had a band on the boat, so we started dancing. And... Uh, just a really, really nice time. We talked. It was very comfortable. Now, you know, there's dancing and then there's dancing. Slow dancing seems to be the most romantic kind of dancing. Did you get the slow dance at all, Stacy? Oh, yeah. Oh, um, there was lots of slow dances on the boat, and uh -huh. I was thankful that, for that because I really wanted to get close to him. I wanted to check out his bod, you know? <laughs> really? Any romance during the slow dances? Or? Oh, it felt great. Yeah. She uh, has an excellent body also, and I, I liked having her close to me like that. Um, there's a lot of other couples around, so I didn't really want to do anything in public as far as showing affection there, but um, uh, it was really nice. It was a nice time. So you're through with the cruise, come back in, tie up, where do you go? So uh, we were staying at a hotel in San Diego, had a really nice room uh, overlooking the bay, and there was a beautiful moon out, beautiful full moon. And uh, so we went out in the balcony, and uh, I mentioned something, in fact, that we hadn't had to get the chance to slow dance, so I asked her if you wanted to slow dance. When there wasn't any music, we started slow dancing, and then uh, she oh, leaned over. Oh, very romantic. Yeah, it was really nice. Even though we didn't have any music, we were just kind of mm -hmm. holding each other close. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she leaned over and kissed me. Did she? Because you're tired of waiting. <laughs> yes, Figured, what I the was. heck? This guy's <laughs> never going to make a move. That's right. I had to take the initiative, you know. I mean, I couldn't resist. It was so romantic. The moon was out, and we were holding each other close, and... Mm. So I said, hey, I'm not going to let this opportunity slip by. Did he seem by. frightened or anything? Did I seem frightened? No, did he? No. No, he, no, he didn't. <laughs> so you kissed on the balcony. Mm -hmm. Now what happens? Well, uh, we kissed for a long time, and uh, it was nice, very nice. She's an excellent kisser. Um, and we both were kind of tired at that point. It has been a long day. So we stayed overnight, but there were two separate beds. Uh, I was kind of hoping if the date was really great, we wouldn't need it, but... Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. I'm surprised to hear you say that, Sam. Well, you just have to get me warmed up. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> How did the date end? Uh, well, uh, I woke up in the morning. Uh, I looked over, and I woke up to a beautiful sight. I saw her lying there. It's really nice. Um, Isn't it funny? It's a first date. It sounds more like a honeymoon, doesn't it? I mean, it's, <laughs> what? Uh, we got our things, drove up to her car. I kissed her goodbye, and uh, can't wait to see her again. 
take a look and see who the audience picked for you. They got Stacy, 55% picked Stacy. And if you'd like to take our audience advice and ask her out, we'd be happy to pay for it. Would you go out again with me, Stacy? I'd love to. Okay. Come on out, Stacy. Well, it sounds like you all had a real good time. A great time. Yeah, well, keep it up, okay? Okay. Thanks for coming on the show. We enjoyed having you. We're going to come back with our next guest right after this. Stay with us. Ever tried Denison's chili? With a chili taste that stands alone. It's rich and thick with beef, beans, and special spices. How rich and thick? <laughs> 